Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to yet another video. That is the new 2021 Honda Civic E. No, it's not. It's not a Civic. It's an E. But if you look at it, look at the inside, I'm gonna call it a Civic. Honda, if you want it or not, it's Honda Civic E. And it's a really funny car. God damn it. In case you didn't subscribe yet, make sure to subscribe because, well, I, I make like kind of funny videos, I guess, so yeah. And in today's video, Honda E, I'm gonna take you guys through it. All the flicks and features and whatever it can do. It does cost a lot of money, but it can do a lot of cool stuff. Let's check it out. So first things first, I mean, look at it. If you drive that thing and you park it like next to a couple of girls, oh man, pants are going to get wet. God dang it. Anyway, first cool feature, this is the key. Not really sure what that thing is for. I think that's gonna make it cool on the inside. And that's to open the frunk, frunk charger thingy. Open close, but look at that. Gonna put it into my pocket. Gonna keep my hands right over here. Look at the doors, look at the doors. When I come close, look at it, look at it. Look at that, I didn't push any buttons. It opens up by itself. But hold on now, not too fast, not too fast. Not gonna jump uh, to the inside already. Look at the mirrors. We do not have mirrors, we have cameras. I'll show you that in a second. On the inside, these are cameras. Look at how thin they are. So when you're parking, it doesn't take up a lot of space. That's not a lot of space. LED headlights for when you're driving through the hood, dark and sketchy roads, you gotta need those. And remember what I said about this button? Look at that. Ching. There's the gold, baby. No, it's not really gold, it's just quick charger, home charger. Maybe that's the home charger. Pretty sure that's the home charger. That's the quick charger. Close it back up. Easy does it. And there we go. Quickly, the wheels. 205 wide, 17 inch tall. And for the back, there's nothing more to say than the front. It kind of looks like the front. So this is the back and the front. It it kind of looks the same. Maybe if you drive it like backwards, people wouldn't even realize you're driving it backwards. Now, uh, let's pop the hood and show you guys what this beast is all about. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that little thing. It's got a small battery. It's got like high voltage wires. If it's orange, if it's orange, do not touch it. It's high voltage. Look at that. It's got a small battery over there. That's for the interior stuff. If you pop this hood at any car meet and show off your engine, oh man, girls are gonna be melting. Dang, it's hot. If you didn't touch the uh, handles fast enough, you go back inside. It's not like you have to touch them. It's like a Lamborghini. Lamborghini, baby. No, I don't wanna compare a Japanese car with an Italian car. Let's go inside. Yep. <sighs> easy to get in and easy to get out. Oh man, it smells so good. This thing is pure luxury. Don't make any mistakes, this is just luxury. This wood is giving me like, hmm, look at it. And first thing, of course, you want to do when you get in a car like this, amazing car, you want to, like, get your phone somewhere. You can put it like that, but then it sticks out and you're probably going to cut your hand somewhere. So you want to have it like, like that. Look at that. Yank it out, pull it back in, and there we go. It's like, yeah, it's just, you know what I mean, you can cut, dang it. So your phone is taken care of. Let's find the power button. It's on the side over there. Push it once without putting your foot on the brake and it does absolutely nothing without telling you you have to put your foot on the brake. So put the foot on the brake, put the button again. Funny noises. Cameras are working. Cameras are working over there. And look at that. It feels like I'm just being in my living room all that wood again. God dang, that wood is so sexy. This is like some kind of park. You can change these things and uh, 
Oh, before I forget, we got an aquarium. I got something for that. Yep. This might be the coolest feature I have ever seen in my life. This car has a freaking aquarium. And if this aquarium isn't good enough, you can even feed the fish. Look at that, I'm dropping in some food. They will come and get the food. Look at that, look at that. Yum yum. Look at that. Go orange, go, 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 go. Yum yum. So a quick walkthrough to uh, some safety features. It's got like uh, heated steering wheels, not really a safety feature, but anyway, it's got lane assist, it's got automatic cruise control, it's got adaptive cruise control, it's got braking aid, it's got, I mean, it, it yeah, it's, it's got all the things you need so you don't crash. A 50% battery. Gotta make sure that doesn't run out or I'm in big trouble. And of course, a cool thing is like, I do not have side mirrors anymore. You have like these little cameras over there. So if you, haha, <laughs> gotcha. If you like hold your hand in front of those and things like that, you can. It's not, it's over there. It, now that's cool. And it works actually pretty fine. And of course, also this car, believe it or not, has automatic parking. So if you press like this button over here and you're like, I wanna park my car, just right next to a couple of cars and uh, it will park itself. Neato. And awesome part, we got like this camera button over here and we also have a mirror button over there and the mirror button is like for uh, if you're parking and things like that, the mirror camera will slide down and you can look at the floor so you don't accidentally wreck things. But this is like the 360 degree camera that this little car have. Look at that like a little 360 camera now how cool is that oh, I did it right. now how cool is that and it's getting hot in here because I'm reviewing this car in the Sun and I can see you guys thinking damn that guy's hot now nah, the girls are probably thinking that I'm just kidding I'm ugly as fuck but you know you're in a hot car you need a beverage if you want to drive your car of course you're an alcoholic what do you want to do you want to be drinking and driving but what did I discover look at that There is nothing to put your drinks. Or is it? So, you're driving your car, but your butt crack is sweaty as hell. So you had a beer, where do you put it? Hmm. Haha. <laughs> there we go. Neato. Yep. And gone it is. So we got our phone to check messages and Instagram DMs from hot chicks. We've got our cold beer. Now what else do we need to get this party started? Yeah, it's like my hair. My hair could use some uh, comb work. This precious Honda comes equipped with a 230 volt socket. So, you can just do your hair. <laughs> now that's neato. Oh man, the girls are gonna be, wow. <laughs> but what else do we got? We got our beer, our hair is done, checking DMs, but bitch is late again. We gotta wait for them bitches. So what do we do when we're waiting? Yep. Super Mario in it. You can play Nintendo. I mean, you can have a beer, you can do your hair, and you can even play Nintendo. What's not to like about this car? It's awesome. Anyway, so this thing actually works like a simple home screen. Uh, if you have you had your old screens, you can see 
what you have been doing. So I had the aquarium and I had like HDMI for the Nintendo and things like that. You can, my iPhone, you can scroll through all the things. Here's my electrical menu. How many watts an hour, range, voltage. Little downside for this car, it's a small car so the battery isn't that big and it only has a range of about 200 kilometers. If you're doing freeway, it can even drop to like 150. So uh, if you're in town, driving it slowly, not putting it into sport mode, like that, you can put it into sport and normal, it will do about 200 kilometers. So it's not bad, it's not really, really, really good, but you know, small car, small battery. And like with every phone, these apps are interchangeable. So you just keep it pressed. And if you're like, I wanna have like my aquarium and things like that, I wanna really have that one over there. Already have it over there, so yeah. Stupid me, I wanna have like the FM radio. I wanna have it like on my home screen, chase it with the DHB. Uh, let's see what we have over here. Multi-view camera, I wanna have that too, instead of the smartphone connection. Let's press that and see what happens. Nothing happens, so I think I gotta press that button first. And there we go, 360 cam, so uh, it's neato. And as you guys can tell, this is a rear view mirror. And if you just yank this little thing over here and pull it, there it is, here, here we go. It changes into a back camera. So what you're actually seeing, is a tree behind me. I opened my trunk so you really can't see it, but now it changed into a camera. Pull it back, and it's a normal camera, it's a normal mirror, and you just pull it, and it's a camera. Neato. And of course, over here we just have the basic stuff. You can put on the air conditioning, but if you full throttle the air conditioning, uh, you're probably gonna see your uh, battery, battery voltage drop pretty fast, because of course, everything you use is gonna it's gonna be bad for the battery, so we better turn that thing off. And of course, after you got the chicks really hot and really going of what you're doing over here already, you can look at this door handle. It's like you gotta push it over there and picky, open it up. And the back seat, surprisingly enough, is actually pretty big. So, not sure what you're gonna do with them girls, you know what I'm saying, but uh. I mean, you get these leather pillows, so it does not cause any stains. If you should leave some white marks on it, you just clean it off or get a, another pillow. But uh, this is like decent fabric, as they used to do in the old Civics. But uh, yeah, look at that. This is like quality stuff, quality leather. It's really nice. And as for myself, I am one meters and I think about 76 centimeters, so almost 180. And uh, I still have a lot of headroom. And for the knees, so I'm actually, I'm really comfy. I'm sweaty, but I'm really comfy. Should put on the air conditioning and letting hot in here. We got some little buttons. We got a little button on the side here. That's for the little LEDs in the ceiling. So if you want to read, clicky clicky. And you can read and of course you guys really want to see the trunk if you can get like a dead body in there if the weekend got a little bit out of hand got some cleaner charging cable gopro stuff so the trunk it can hold like maybe two cases of beer you can get like this out and you can it's not really big because down here you got like a little engine underneath to drive the rear wheels and i have not told you guys that but this car is actually rear wheel drive. I have not found anything to turn off traction control, but it is rear wheel drive. So you might be able to drift it if you delete some software, anyway. Anyway, back to the trunk. So the only thing we got in the trunk down there is like uh, the thing to put some air back in your uh, leaky tire. We got the uh, warning triangle that no Honda user has ever used because Hondas do not break down first aid kit for if you break your knee or hit your toe and we got a fire extinguisher that is pretty useless if your electric car uh, has a short circuit because as we all know if you short circuit the battery your fire extinguisher is gonna be pretty useless so yeah and you if you have been watching this video all the time and you look at that dashboard 
Now look at that. Keep that in mind. Like that thing over there, steering wheel, buttons over there. Keep that in mind. Don't forget it. Look at that. Look at that. Now look at that. Yep. The Honda E is inspired by the older Honda Civic. They do not call the new Civic a Civic, but they call it Honda E. But if you look at the dash, look at the wood, look at where the old radio is, it's nostalgic. And I love it. And thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I'm getting a little drunk from all the beer I had today. And uh, thank you very much to Nordic Automotive in Sint Niklaas, Belgium. So if, if you're from Belgium or the Netherlands and you want to buy a car like this, make sure you contact Nordic Automotive and they'll make you a good deal. Not a really good deal because, well, uh, I've been told that Honda is not really making a lot of money on these cars and they spent way too much uh, fabricating it. So uh, yeah, uh, don't try to get like the best deal, get it really cheap. Because if you want to get it real cheap, some bugs in the tree over here. If you wanna get it really cheap, yeah, that's, it's not gonna be a new one. Like I said, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and I see you guys in the next one. Peace.